Hey everyone, got another video for you today. It's on Ethereum, some really great news about Ethereum. So if you're holding Ethereum, um, it's really a good day and this is really great news. So the Canadian government released a press release saying that uh, they are currently utilizing the Ethereum blockchain. Now this is huge because we have a government, guys, a world government utilizing one of the top cryptos, blockchain. Now we know Ethereum is not a... a uh, uh, currency um, it's more on the smart contracts and it's not like Bitcoin but it it's being you know as far as its own coin it's been holding a very strong spot on the market cap here uh, trading over eleven hundred dollars in the number two spot so uh, here's here what here's what they uh, they said as far as how they're utilizing it the National Research Council of Canada through its industrial research assistance program NRC hyphen IRAP is using the Ethereum blockchain to proactively publish grants and contribution data in real time, a measure that complements ongoing quarterly proactive disclosures available through the open government website. So this is huge for uh, Ethereum and crypto as well. Um, pretty amazing. I think Ethereum has been on this adoption, like momentum and growth. It's Pretty significant. Just recently, there was a bunch of articles that came out saying uh, Ethereum's volume transactions has uh, surpassed Bitcoin and like some of the other cryptos combined. So, uh, I believe in uh, reported here on uh, January fifteenth, twenty nine billion dollars in uh, transaction process in the past twenty four hours. So, pretty amazing. Uh, Ethereum is on the rise, um, and a lot of people. Some of the analysts are saying it could surpass Bitcoin. I don't know if that's going to happen this year, but it has the potential to because of the, the, the volume of adoption that it's getting. Uh, a lot of other crypto projects are being built on and running on the Ethereum network. For example, Tron and Omisigo. Um, and like I mentioned, the transactions are up significantly. What I really like, um, Vitalik, uh, who's the founder, uh, he's also a very smart guy. He has a vision and he's, uh, he's always focused on the project and the, the solution and the software and trying to, you know, actually make a change. He actually came out on Twitter and, and mentioned that he, he actually threatened to leave the, uh, like the whole crypto community and that type of thing because people are more focused on the money rather than the, the the actual software technology and looking to make it you know changing the world um so he's a great guy um they have a great team you know they're they're currently working on scalability updates so for example the casper update which is um set to be released sometime this year which will really help ethereum to scale um, and I reported some of this back in November where I talked about Ethereum would easily hit a thousand dollars and, you know, about the Casper and, uh, let's see, what was the other update here? If I can remember it correctly, Plasma, the Plasma updates. So both scalability updates, and it's great that they're constantly working on improving the Ethereum network. Um, obviously the Ethereum network is much faster than big Bitcoins, um, but this uh, this crypto this blockchain has so much potential guys um i'm actually surprised at the volume and and what's been happening uh and it's all been positive all been good news so um if you're holding ether i suggest you continue to hold guys um it easily surpassed a thousand dollars and i think it could easily go up into the five thousand the six thousands this year um and if you know with these updates that are coming up, um, if they're able to scale and, and there's more transactions being run on this network and there's more adoption like the Canadian government and, and you know, comp major companies and so forth. Um, even I talked about the Kodak ICO that's upcoming. They are currently going to be using the Ethereum smart contract network and so forth um, until well, they said they were going to develop their own blockchain, but in the meantime, they're going to use the Ethereum network. So if you get adoptions from big brands like that and even governments and so forth, um, the sky's the limit for Ethereum. So uh, I told, I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I bought some more Ethereum in the dip. So guys, hold on to your Ethereum. Uh, I think there's, I'm actually very, very pleased and surprised as well about the, 
the adoption and what's been happening. So, um, yeah, so they have the, the gov- you know, Canadian government has all this information published here on their site about leveraging the Ethereum blockchain. Um, and they did a press release, as mentioned. So this came out January 19th, yesterday. So pretty awesome news, guys. Um, what do you think about this? Are you are you currently holding Ethereum? Uh, what do you think about this news? I think this is great for, once again, Ethereum and crypto as well. So leave your comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And please subscribe for more videos on cryptocurrencies. I will talk to you guys later.